Once a search engine finds a particular page, it processes the contents to determine things about the page that influence how the page is used by the search engine and when it will be returned in search results. Things that the search engine is interested in are what's the page about, uh, how relevant is the page to various types of search queries, um, how reputable is the page? Can I understand something about that by looking at the content? Is the page similar to other pages? Does the page look like spam or other things? So when a search engine processes a page, this is the uh, home page for my group's website, it doesn't see this. This is what we see. This is the rendered HTML. Instead, what the search engine sees in this case is this. This is the HTML content for the page. Um, and there are particular parts of the page that are particularly important or interesting to search engines. One of the, a couple of parts of the page that we typically don't see when we browse, but are particularly important to search engines, are these meta tags up at the top. So these meta tags indicate that this is metadata about the page. For example, this metadata indicates that the page is using a character set UTF-8 that describes something about how the page's uh, text is formatted. This, so the title tag is particularly important to search engines, and there are specific ways that you can format your title tags to try to make them a little bit more intelligible. This one is using um, pipes to separate the various parts of the page. This is actually the courses page. Let me uh, look at the index page for my group. Okay, so here's the index for my group. Um, blue, and then a systems research group. So that's particularly important information to the search engine. Um, these other next two meta tags are also particularly important. So this one is called description. And this is something that you won't see if you browse the page. There's nowhere on the web browser that will actually display this information. There might be, but it's not in the text of the page. This is information that's been placed on the page specifically to help the search engine out. So in this case, it says we design, build, blah, blah, blah. So this is something about my group and, and what we do. Um, the next thing is also equally important. So this is another meta tag that outlines some keywords for the page. So in this case, I set the keywords to be computers, computer systems, blue systems research, whatever. And, and these keywords are designed, again, to give the web search uh, crawler some hints about what the page might be about. But obviously, at some point, the, the search engine is going to actually process the contents of the page. And it's going to look for you know text, right? And it's going to process that text. So if someone is searching for novel computer systems here, that appears as a phrase on the page. It might be included in those results, probably on page like 35 or something. Um, and so here's more content that the search engine is going to use. Um, so you know, there's another. I'll show you another example. This is the courses page for my group. Again, pretty similar. Uh, the keywords are slightly different. The description is slightly different. Uh, but overall, the, the approach that a search engine would take to these pages is the same. There's one last uh, bit of in important information that I want to talk about, and, and that's something that some sites have started to provide uh, to help search engines out. This is what's called a site map. So like robots.txt, which lives in the root of a particular website, that's the same place that a sitemap lives. And a sitemap is designed to help search engines find all the pages on a particular website. So a sitemap is in a markup language that's known as XML, which is not particularly interesting. Um, but what the sitemap here indicates is for each URL, um, it, has a, it has a list of URLs, and it has every URL on the site that I want the search engine to find. And then it has some information about those URLs. So for example, priority. How important is this URL in the overall structure of the site? So in here, the index page is the most important page. That's priority one. The priorities are from zero to one. Um, and then here's a, a, a page about the people in my group. I've decided that's the second most high priority page, 0 0.9. Um, these are all just relative within the same site. The priorities don't have any absolute meaning. There's also this change frequency. So how often is this page changed? Changed. I've indicated that this page has changed weekly. The last modification was actually uh, just a couple days ago. Um, and so this information is provided to a search engine, again, to make its life a little bit easier. Because you know, when you build a website, now you want search engines to find it, and you want search engines to be able to process it properly, find all the pages, and make sure that the search engine knows what those pages are about. But this is how this happens, primarily by looking at the contents, and in certain cases, by looking at some of this metadata that the page includes. It's not necessarily visible to the user, but really important and really useful to search engines in trying to understand web pages.